Hello friends, today we will talk about theme. You have heard your teachers talk about theme. What is a theme of this story? So today we will find out what a theme is. Have you ever gone to the beach and found a message in a bottle? So keep thinking about the message that is inside the bottle. We'll come to that when we know more about theme. So a theme is the main message that the author wants you to know in the story. It's often a broad idea about life or the world. It is like a universal statement, they say, and it's usually not directly stated. You have to figure out, just like you have to open the bottle to get to the message inside it. There we have it. The theme is the message in a bottle. Let's look at some examples of themes. Hard work is rewarding. It may be a story about a boy who finds it really hard to work hard, but in the end gets a good reward. You know how you need good friends, and you know from your experiences in life that good friends are the ones that help in need. This may be a message the author wants you to take away from a story. You have heard this one many times. You may not want to admit it, but it's true. Always listen to your parents. This is a good universal statement. This applies to a lot of people, and this is true. It's a message that may be part of a story. Always listen to your parents. And that, my friend, is theme. This story chart will help us figure out theme. Figure out the main character. What is the main character's problem? What does the character do? What happens to the character? And what happens at the end? In the end, what is the theme? Now we have a story and a beautiful story chart. Let's look at, at the first tab, its main character. It is I, who is the speaker or the narrator. What is the main character's problem? Right in the first paragraph it says, If only I had kept up with the reading this week, I could have had it today. Now, the main character is impatient about the prize from the library. What does the character do? He thinks about cheating. He considers just lying and saying to his mom that he has finished reading. As I went through the list of the books I had read, I almost added the names of the three unread books in my shelf. That is what... The narrator considers, uh-oh, that's dangerous. What happens to the character? In the end, when the mother asks if he's ready to go to the library to get to the prize, he says, this was my moment of truth. Not yet, I said. Uh, this must be really hard to say. Next week, for sure. In the end, which is the conclusion, his mother tells him to keep on working. She says, hang in there, son. Keep on working. So the story has a good, happy ending. So what is the message the author wants you to take away? Cheating does not make one feel good about the prize. The speaker decides almost on cheating, but then he says, I knew I couldn't face the librarians. I had known since I was in preschool if I cheated. How could I treasure the prize if I hadn't really earned it? He knows he wouldn't feel good about the prize if he cheated. That, my friends, is the theme of this story. Now we know how to analyze a story to look for the problem, what the character does about the problem, and what likely is the message the author wants you to take away from it. More later. Bye-bye.